Are you ready to do this? Yeah. For sure. I've been waiting on this, bro. First of all, Trey, how you doing, buddy? Yo, yeah, what's up, man? So today, all of these loose parts that you see here on the floor will no longer be loose or just parts. This, today, is going to become our rear end. We won't get as far as making the A-arms or anything yet, but my goal for today is get all this into one rear end. Maybe we'll even get our tillets mounted, which would be pretty cool. You got a game plan. Oh yeah. So that's good. The questions are out of the way at this point. I pretty much know what I want to do. And today we're just going to execute it. So this is going to be a fun one. Be a nice recovery from our uh, last working video. Cut to that insanity. Bye. Technically, this is working. We got our hubs turned down, everything's hooked up. I already took the measurements. I'm gonna cut eight and a half inch section out of this axle here. And then between everything we've got on the floor, all of a sudden it's gonna come together pretty quick. And we'll just drill some holes, mount it up, throw the engine in, engine plate. We're gonna hammer through. So let's see what we can get done. Cool. You ready for this, bro? Let's rip it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got myself eight inches for our rear end. I mean, cut that. This is gonna go in here. We'll get some key stock later, but for now, that goes in here. We got ourselves a pillow block. Our brake caliper is gonna go on like that. This is an old bearing that I have. It's all janked up. But it's gonna work as a nice spacer. Put our sprocket, two of these bad boys. This thing will go on here. That's awesome. And there's our rear end. Wow, that's very cool. Yeah, and the nice thing about it, I was kind of stressed. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this so that I can like take it all apart and replace parts if I need to, but the way it's gonna work out, I can just clamp the, the pill blocks here, have little Allen set screws, which will hold our hubs in place. Now, all we gotta do is... Nice, wow. Things are looking pretty good. So, I'm thinking, First things first, why don't I just trim that hole out? We'll go from there.
ass while I'm operating heavy machinery. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, made our little angle iron brackets. This is gonna get bolted up right underneath here. And then we're gonna kind of hang the axle like this. So I got really long hardware thinking I was gonna have to go through the tube and then I remembered putting a hole this big through one inch tube would completely compromise it. So for now, until I go back to the hardware store, we're gonna use some little scrap pieces here as spacers just so we can bolt everything together. Oh boy. Yeah, no power tools. This is gonna take a while. You wanna just cut back to this tray? We'll have it assembled in a minute. <laughs> There we go. Now, this, I'm gonna go right back up on here. Can you lift that piece of wood? So that is gonna let us run our tubing from here straight down to there. I'm just gonna weld this in on the seam pop it off, weld it up from the underneath. So I'll probably cut some of these for real later. Yeah. That are like actually the right size, but that looks pretty good. Let's get this one together. And then we can start figuring out how we want that pipe to go.
All right, bro. We're really getting somewhere. Look at this thing, dog. Yeah, that's beautiful, actually. Oh my God. <laughs> so, decided to break this one into a couple days because it was worth it to figure out how to mount this engine the best way. Our first thoughts were just to run tubing across here and set it up on top, but yeah. I'm a freak and I wanted it a little bit lower than that. So, we came up with this instead. The other big thing about this is we've got these big bolts yeah. under here that hold the pillow blocks for the rear end in, and I wanted to still be able to access those. Yeah. And so it's kind of Big Bob's idea. We made the engine plate removable. Yeah, the, the idea evolved. We were both stressing about how to get to those bolts, right? Yeah. I'll take a little credit. Yeah, yeah, take a little credit. All right, it was all my idea, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs Bob? That's the question yeah, I that's the question. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, this is actually really sick. I had to trim the Go Power Sports engine plate down anyways. After I had it trimmed, I was like, wait, these make perfect mounting brackets. If people are interested, I'll make a little Tyrannus tip on, on how I did that, because that's kind of a really cool option to have for your builds if you want to be able to just lift the engine out and not have to worry about getting underneath to adjust things. Now, all yeah. that being said, I still designed this with plenty of room under here to get to and tighten all of the engine bolts. So this is nice and open still. Had to get a little creative over here, some more support. Although, I used my very first ever oh, Go yeah. Power Sports gusset. Yeah. Which I was excited about. Yeah, that's sick, I like that. Yeah. So this thing's looking pretty sick and it's lined up perfect. Which I thought was ingenious how you did it. <laughs> yeah, my little, uh, makeshift engine hoist. Yeah. But yeah, this thing's tight, bro. We got plenty of adjustability to keep our chain nice and tight. And we should have room. This is pretty much where the seat ended last time. Yeah. So we should be in about the same place. And that'll be cool, that's coming soon. And then, uh, I don't know, man, other than brakes back here, the rear end, aside from the A-arms, obviously, is pretty much good to go. Came a long way in one video. Yes, it did, and that was the goal. We thought about breaking it into two, but I kind of like these videos that end in a place that's really nice and satisfying. But, yo, do you want to see the engine plate come off? This is so cool. I'm proud of this. Yeah, that's very cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> and there you go. That's what we got underneath. So now I can easily get to everything I need to. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's a great design. Is it that much easier than unbolting the Tillotson? No, but if you have stuff underneath and you have tough packaging stuff, now I can just blast these out. Nothing's in my way. I'm pretty happy with it. Nice design. Thank you, sir. Well, I think that's it for this one, right? I think that's about it. Covered a lot of ground. Yeah, we did. No, this is sweet. And this thing, all of a sudden, man, we're getting, we're making big leaps and bounds. We gotta get our lathe figured out. Maybe we'll see that in the coming episode, but turn down some hold bearing holders for these, then we can make the A-arms, and all of a sudden, this thing's gonna be pretty much ready to rock and roll. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely a Tyrannus custom now. Yeah. So if y'all don't wanna miss any of the cool stuff coming up with this build and wanna see this thing send as hard as we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps us out a lot. As always, hit those notifications. Yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Sounds good.